It's time to play Who Should Win, Who Will Win. While this game has been rendered no fun by the increasing predictability of most awards shows, the MTV Movie Awards are still a tad unpredictable thanks to more diverse nominations and that winners are decided by you, the audience. By the way, voting for the show ends April 11th, so if you haven't missed that deadline, head over to MTV.com. Okay, let's get started. First up, Best Picture. There are a lot of audience favorites here, but my guess is it's going to boil down to Star-Lord vs. Katniss. Mockingjay Part 1 should win hands down, as it was a refreshingly sophisticated entry in the young adult genre. I mean, come on, you actually learn about the power and dangers of propaganda. But it's tough to beat a talking raccoon, so Guardians of the Galaxy will win. Let's face it, that Marvel space flick was an overall crowd pleaser, while Mockingjay Part 1 was not. Next up, Best Male Performance. Ooh, didn't take long for us to find a real stumper, did it? I'd say Miles Teller should win for Whiplash. J.K. Simmons got most of the attention for that Sundance sensation, yet it takes two to tango, right? And after Whiplash and stealing the show with Insurgent, not to mention Fantastic Four on the horizon, this young actor is on the verge of stardom, and it would be nice to see fans get on the Teller train early. Yet 2014 was Chris Pratt's breakout year, so he will win. That is, unless Ansel Elgort's performance in The Fault in Our Stars was even more swoon-worthy than we thought. As for Best Female Performance, while there are some very formidable contenders in this category, Jennifer Lawrence should win and will win for Mockingjay Part 1. As much as Lionsgate might hate to hear it, the entire franchise rests on Lawrence's shoulders, and she carries it well. If we burn, you burn with us? Chills! And that's all Lawrence. Breakthrough Performance Rosamund Pike should win here, as she went from Where Have I Seen That Actress Before? to Oscar nominee with her jaw-dropping turn in Gone Girl. But that film might skew a bit too old for the MTV set, so this is likely between Ansel Elgort and Dylan O'Brien. And O'Brien will win, as he's already got a major in with MTV viewers, Teen Wolf. Ooh, best scared as performance. You gotta love MTV for categories like this. It'll be a real travesty of justice if Pike doesn't take home this bucket of golden popcorn, as again, she should win. But also again, Gone Girl's more mature tone and Dylan O'Brien's fandom can make this two for two where he will win. Best on-screen duo? Talk about a Sophie's Choice. I'm going to have to say though that Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel as Rocket Raccoon and Groot should win and will win. They were the magic that pushed Guardians of the Galaxy over the top and fans know it. Plus, who wouldn't love the opportunity to see Cooper and Diesel interact together as their human counterparts and hear that Groot acceptance speech? Next, Best Shirtless Performance. Zac Efron already won last year, and he should pull a Tom Hanks in this category for his clever shirtless scene with Seth Rogen alone. As for who will win, though, women haven't fared well here in the past, yet Kate Upton has a large following on social media that she could mobilize. Still, I'm going to say Chris Pratt will win, as fans are Pratt crazy right now with Jurassic World coming out this summer. Plus, come on, he worked hard for those abs. Everybody loves an underdog. Best fight? While I'd love to be able to say Birdman should take this, I think it's pretty clear neighbors should and will win. To see Zac Efron lose his shit was hilarious, and a comedy star was born. With Best Kiss, Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans should win for Winter Soldier. Not only was it a rare instance of a non-romantic kiss, they had to kiss to evade capture, but it led to a fun discussion later on about whether or not Cap has had any practice since he was frozen back in the 1940s. But Ansel Elgort and Charlene Woodley will win, because people like their on-screen kisses all lovey-dovey, and their kiss in The Fault in Our Stars was the most emotional of the bunch. As for the best WTF moment, this category is actually a little lackluster. Were these really the most shocking on-screen moments of 2014? Miles Teller and Whiplash should win, as this moment in the film was truly shocking and made me jump in the theater. The top five moment is a little too WTF, but could take the golden popcorn. However, I think Neighbors will win, as Rogan milking Rose Byrne was certainly memorable and funny. With Best Villain, this is another category where Pike should win, yet Legend of Korra fans could make it that J.K. Simmons will win another golden trophy. 
best musical moment should and will go to Jennifer Lawrence for Hanging Tree, which was incredibly powerful. Not just for her acoustic singing, but also the way the scene developed as she inspired rebellion against the Capitol. I had tears in my eyes, and I'm willing to bet so did many MTV voters. Then there's best comedic performance, which should go to Rose Byrne for Neighbors. Byrne has deserved recognition for some time now as a comedian. Can you imagine Bridesmaids without her? And she held her own against Rogan and Efron in Neighbors. Plus, she's the only woman to make it into this category. But still, she can't compete with Kevin Hart's legion of fans who will make sure he will win. Finally, best on-screen transformation. This should go to Eddie Redmayne, whose on-screen transformation was as much acting as makeup. But I think Eller Coltrane will win, as he literally grew up on film before our eyes, chronicling a period in one's life that a number of MTV voters find themselves in right now. Talk about being able to relate. Woo! So that's who I think should win and will win. Share your own thoughts down below, as well as how you voted if you did. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now. Thank you.